All right, thank you so much. We start our border report this morning telling you about this. At least 10 migrants are dead and 20 others hurt after a crash in South Texas. It happened on Highway 281 in Brooks County, just about 50 miles north of McAllen. Investigators say the van was designed to hold only 15 passengers. It was speeding when the driver lost control on a curve. It slammed into a metal utility pole and a stop sign. Right now, it's unknown where the van was registered or who owned it. An update for you this morning, according to our news partners at ABC 13, Hurricane Harbor Splashtown in spring will reopen this morning at 11 a.m. It had been closed for nearly three weeks due to a chemical leak that sickened a number of guests. Splashtown says it has completed a comprehensive inspection to safely welcome guests and team members back to the park. It was back on July 17th. There was a vapor release of pool sanitizing chemicals rather in the children's pool. It's often known as the kiddie pool area that sickened more than two dozen people. Right now, at least 35 families are seeking legal action. Well, a COVID outbreak has closed Moody Gardens Palm Beach. A spokesperson for the park says a total of 10 employees have tested positive for COVID-19, six of whom worked at that Palm Beach location. The area will be closed until tomorrow. The rest of Moody Gardens is still open in the Palm Beach area. Well, now the Moody Gardens outbreak comes as state health officials say the rates of new COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations and deaths are showing steeper increases than past surges. They say the rolling seven day average of new cases has soared by 95% from just last week. Hospitalizations have increased by 49% and deaths sadly have also increased by 15%. A spokesperson for the Texas Department of State Health Services says the rolling seven day average of vaccinations has also climbed about 75% in just the past month. That's up from 44,000 on July 4 to 75,000 as of just this past Tuesday. Meanwhile, Governor Abbott repeated his message to Texans during a news conference in Dallas on Wednesday. Texas, there will not be any government imposed shutdowns or mass mandates. Everyone already knows what to do. Everyone can voluntarily implement the mandates that are safest for them, for their families and for their businesses. Governor Abbott also says locks lockdowns rather are wrong during a pandemic, but he did encourage people to get vaccinations. He called it the surest way to end this epidemic. Now let's take a live look courtesy of our Sky Tracker network at Washington, D.C. We could see some movement in the Senate as early as today on that roughly $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure package. Some lawmakers are hoping to wrap up the tedious amendment process sometime tonight. Others don't want to rush this debate. Washington correspondent Jesse Tenor joins us now live with what is going on right now. Good morning, Jesse. Yeah, good morning, Sharon. Senators have introduced hundreds of these amendments now, but only a handful have actually gotten a vote. That process will continue today, but Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer still wants to approve that final piece of legislation this week. This amendment is not agreed to. Change after change to the $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill failed on the Senate floor. My people are tough, but they are tired. Louisiana Senator John Kennedy called for the bill to provide disaster relief to his state. But Michigan Senator Gary Peters argued the proposal would take away money from broadband expansion. I support disaster relief, but this is not the way to do it. The back and forth continued on Republican amendments that would reverse several executive orders from President Biden, including restoring the construction of the Keystone XL pipeline and the border wall. Walls work. We need to complete the 285 million or 285 miles of wall to help secure our border. About a third of Senate Republicans currently support the overall infrastructure package, which would provide $550 billion in new spending over five years for everything from roads to high-speed internet to electric utilities. But many more GOP lawmakers, including Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, worry about the price tag of Democrats' next proposal, the multi-trillion dollar human infrastructure bill. The absolutely worst possible thing we could be doing in our country right now. 
And Democrats want to consider that $3.5 trillion investment in social programs and climate measures as a separate budget resolution, which allows them to pass it without Republicans. Live in Washington, I'm Jesse Chinor. Sharon. Thank you, Jesse. Real quick before you go, I mean, on the first portion of this, when exactly could we actually see any votes on that particular measure? Yeah, we'll kind of have to wait and see, but Schumer is hoping for a vote this week. But when you look at the timeline, the amendments, and then the debate that has to happen on the actual bill itself, it's looking like that vote could be Monday or Tuesday. And senators were supposed to leave for their August recess on Monday. And so Schumer will keep them here until he says they pass that traditional infrastructure plan and then that larger $3.5 trillion human infrastructure plan. All right, good to hear. Thank you so much, Jesse Tenor, reporting live for us from Washington, D.C. We'll see you a little bit later as well.